Well, 2022 is progressing faster than I could have imagined, but every single month it seems I keep stumbling upon amazing apps that for one reason or another are not available on the Google Play Store. And so I thought it was about time to put together another video showcasing 10 of my favorites. You ready? Let's dive in. And to kick off the list today, we have Revanced. And if that name sounds familiar, that's because this app is essentially a replacement to the very popular, but now discontinued YouTube Vanced application. If you haven't heard of it, YouTube Vance was essentially a modded version of the YouTube app that unlocked a whole host of additional features within the YouTube application. But earlier this year, the developers announced that the app had been discontinued due to some legal issues. And so Revanced is here to fill the void. Now, if you want the version that only requires downloading a simple APK, then that'll unlock some simple but very handy features like ad-free watching and listening, background playing, as well as picture-in-picture -picture mode, which I'm sure will satisfy most users. But then you can also pick up the source code files from the revanced repo and use them to get the more advanced versions of the app, which will unlock virtually all of the settings found on the original Vanced version. Pretty cool stuff. But if you're more of a music person and you're looking for a modded version of the YouTube Music app, well then VMusic is a seriously great option. VMusic acts as a client to YouTube Music, and this means that you get access to pretty much the entire library of YouTube Music songs without ever needing an account. You just search for the song you wanna to listen to, tap to start playing it, and there you go. You can then add the song to a playlist or even start a radio from the selected song. Plus the app has a really clean UI and design, and it doesn't even have any ads. Next up is Snippet. And this is actually an application that I featured on the channel a little while ago, back when it was available on the Play Store. But since then, for some unknown reason, it's been removed. But if you're someone who loves the idea of reading books, but you just can't quite make the time to do so, then Snippet actually provides you with short 15 minute summaries of not only books, but also articles and podcasts. And this means you can save a whole heap of time by reading just the key takeaways. The summaries are actually supposedly formatted using insights from neuroscientific research to help you to retain more information in less time, which is pretty nifty. And I'm honestly not too sure why this app was taken off the Play Store, except for perhaps the developers chose not to continue actively supporting it anymore. Still a great app though. After that is Stealth, which is a third party Reddit client that not only looks great, but that also places a strong emphasis on privacy. In fact, privacy is such a key feature of the app that you can't even log into it. You can just browse your favorite subreddits anonymously, knowing that the app ain't taking or stealing any of your data. But then on top of that, the app also has an incredible design. It's got that modern neomorphism design language about it that I really like the look of. And if all of that wasn't enough, then it's also completely open source. All right, from there we have Ambient Music Mod. And this is a really cool application that emulates one of my all time favorite features, normally exclusive to Google Pixel devices. And that is the now playing functionality. And if you haven't heard of this feature, well, in short, it'll use the microphones on your device to listen to the surrounding sounds. And if it picks up that the song is playing, it'll actually show you the name of the song and artist right on your lock screen. I seriously love it. And with ambient music mod, you can actually activate this same feature on non-Pixel devices. If you're running Android 12, then you can get the app to work simply by using the Shizuku application. But if you're running Android 9, 10 or 11, then the app will require root access. Now it doesn't have quite as vast a library of songs as Google obviously has access to, but it is seriously impressive that we can get pretty much all the way there through the use of a third party app. Hats off to the developer. Now, if you've watched any of my past best apps not found on the Play Store videos, then there's a good chance that you've already heard of F-Droid, but if you're new here, well then F-Droid is the go-to option for downloading free and open source applications, many of which are also not available on the Play Store. The only downside to F-Droid though is the design. And so that's where Droidify comes in as it is a really clean Material U inspired third-party client of F-Droid. It plays host to a huge list of repos to fetch applications from, but then, as you can see, it just looks like an app that Google could have designed themselves. It's got some clean animations, a bunch of categories to help sort the applications, and you can even check for and install updates directly within the app. If you're a regular user of F-Droid, well then Droidify is seriously worth checking out. 
And then there's URL Checker, which is a free and open source application that basically acts as a middleman for URLs and web links. So let's say you get sent an email that includes a link to something that you want to open. Well, instead of just opening it directly, you can instead share the URL to the URL Checker application. This will then open up a new window, providing you with additional tools and information related to that URL. You can edit the URL to remove tracking information before you then open it. You can analyze the status of the URL and change it from a redirect to a permanent URL. Plus, there's also an option at the bottom to open the URL in different apps if the link supports it. It's a unique and pretty niche tool, but I reckon it could come in very handy for a lot of you. Now, an amazing tool I've been meaning to showcase on the channel for quite some time is called Universal Android Deep Bloater. And as the name so helpfully indicates, this is a tool that will help you to uninstall bloatware on nearly any Android device. It actually runs on your computer, so it's technically not an app per se, but it has a direct correlation to the apps on your phone. So I still think it's worthy of a feature in today's video. You just connect your phone to your computer, allow USB debugging access, hit the refresh button, and then all of the apps installed on your phone will show up within the utility. Then you just find the package name of the app you're wanting to uninstall, hit uninstall, and that's it. What's also cool is that any apps you uninstall will be saved under this uninstalled section, making it easy to restore them later on if need be. But the tool works on nearly every Android device and does not require root access, making it an amazing utility worth checking out. All right, second to last is a modded version of the incredible Me Notes application, which is the stock note-taking app found on devices running MIUI. And seriously, out of all of the note-taking apps I've tried and used over the many years of testing apps, this one has one of the best designs and definitely has the best animations of the lot. Now, the app has been modded by an independent developer, so as with any modded app, tread carefully, but it actually works pretty well and is such a joy to use. Well worth trying out. And finally today, we have a root-only application called Fox Magisk Module Manager. This is an all-in-one app that makes it really easy to find, install, and then manage Magisk modules, which is a feature that got removed from the stock Magisk Manager application a little while ago. Fox collects Magisk modules from a few key repos, which means the app will always be getting updated with new modules. And then as mentioned, you can browse through all of these modules to find anything that suits your fancy and then install them right from within the app. It works really well, so if you're someone with a rooted phone, then this app is a must have. And so there you have it, 10 applications that you cannot find on the Google Play Store. If you have any other recommendations for apps that also can't be found on the Play Store, then let everyone know down in the comments below. And if there are any that haven't been featured in the past, then they might even make it into a future episode. If you enjoyed this video, then a sub to the channel would be amazing. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.